folks, once again, it is Donnie coming at you with do 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 the Linux Security Report. And today I just want to do a real quick update here about a bug that has just come to light. And this is a bug which has been in pretty much all Linux distros for the past 10 years. And apparently somebody has just now discovered it. And it has been revealed, but it has not been revealed or disclosed, I should say, until after it has been patched. So yes, it has been patched. So if you have not updated your Linux systems lately, you want to do so now, especially if you're dealing with any Linux servers. So get that done. Yeah, get it done, man. But anyway, uh, sudo, of course, is one of those things that you always see me encouraging people to use because the alternative is to go to the root command prompt and do everything from the root command prompt. That's not good practice. Because when you're at the root command prompt, it's, it's little mistakes that you might make. Uh, you know, you don't have any safety buffer there. Nothing there that says, hey, uh, it, no entering a password or anything like that. It says, hey, wait a minute. Maybe you need to think about what you're doing. And also, with going to the root command prompt, it's all or nothing. Go to the root command prompt. You're giving everybody access, right? I mean, uh, if you got other administrators that you need to help you out, if the only thing you do is give them the root password and tell them to go to the root command prompt, they can do everything. But with sudo, of course, you can limit what other administrators do. And uh, you can only give them just certain powers to do certain things. But here we have a bug, and this is a bug in the actual programming code, and uh, it's something called Baron Sam Edit. I have no idea who came up with that name, but uh, anyway, uh, it is in the programming code, and it invokes something, uh, if I remember correctly, they said it was a heap overflow. But uh, anyway, this was discovered by a security auditing firm, Qualys, two weeks ago. And it was patched earlier today with the release of sudo version 1.9.5p2. And so, yeah, it's been in the source code for 10 years, only discovered two weeks ago. Yeah. But anyway, uh, this can be exploited by an attacker who gained access to a low-privileged account to gain root access, even if, if the account isn't listed in the sudoers file. So, yeah. So even if, if somebody has no privileges at all, except just for his own uh, normal operations, right? Has no admin privileges. He's not listed in that sudoers file that's in the Etsy directory. Somebody can take advantage of this flaw in order to escalate that person's privileges to the root user level. So, not a good thing. Now, uh, can I do it? Well, probably not because if you watch this video here, all right, and uh, just let's see if we can play a little bit of it here. Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will demonstrate exploitation of a critical vulnerability in sudo, CVE 2021-31056, which allows any unprivileged user to gain root privileges on a vulnerable system in its default configuration. Let's take a look. First, we'll make sure we're using an up-to-date version of the operating system. Here. Okay, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna play the whole thing here, but just, you know, just be aware, 
if, if you go to this article here, and I'll put the link to this article in the video description, but if you look at this, uh, he goes through here, and he, he basically has some code which he's compiling. He doesn't show us the code, though. He just shows us the, that, yeah, there's a source code file there, and he compiles it, and then he runs that program, and it causes what is known as a heap overflow, which is a flaw in the programming code which allows somebody to, like, uh, do certain things which will invoke that flaw and then use that flaw to insert commands, to insert rogue commands into the program and make it do things that it was never meant to do. So in this case, he's using the sudo, he's using this flaw in the sudo to insert a command to dump a person off at the root command prompt. And let me see here if we can get to over here. And we'll Not see. in the memory. Okay, there he's like uh, doing iterations of it there. I don't know if you can hear the video on that or not, but it doesn't matter. Uh, That's it. As you can see, the prompt has changed. A quick confirmation shows us we are running as root. Okay, so yeah. So that's that's the uh, that's the end result of it there, okay? So he started out as a normal user, we ran that program and ended up as the root user without having to enter a password and for a user who is not even in that sudoers file. So yeah, that's kind of scary stuff. So anyway, uh, this is a flaw which anybody with the programming knowledge can easily exploit. Okay, there are two previous bugs with uh, with sudo that uh, were discovered a while back, but they were hard to exploit because they required some rather esoteric, uh, non-standard sudo setups. Okay, so we didn't really have to worry about them too much, but this one is something that is a lot more concern. And uh, like I say, you know, be sure to get your systems updated. And especially if you are on, if you are running any type of Linux servers, and then especially if those servers are facing the internet, where it's easy for people to get into. All right. So anyway, that's pretty much it. And, uh, you know, for this Linux security port. And now for a word from my sponsor, which is me and my book, Mastering Linux Security and Hardening Second edition and uh, if you want some good tips and tricks on how to set up your Linux servers so that they are the most resistant to attack then be sure to check this out and also if you are studying for any type of Linux security exam certification like uh, for example Linux Professional Institute level 3 security uh, be sure to check this out, too, because there's a lot of good stuff in here that will help you out. It's not a complete certification course, but pretty much everything in this book is covered by the LPI Level 3 Security Exam. So, it will help you out tremendously in that regard. So, purchase links in the video description below. So, that's pretty much it for this edition of the Linux Security Report. Be sure to like and subscribe and share out the video too. Be, be Feel free to share it out, right? <laughs> so anyway, y'all take care. We'll see you next time.